Hey guys, welcome back, it's Angel. Today I'm gonna be switching up the Get Fit Fridays. Um, I'm gonna pause on those those uh, workout videos for a little while. I'm still working out consistently, but I, like I said, I, I wanted to, in the previous video, I wanted to change up my eating a little bit, do something different. So one of my friends on Instagram um, started doing like a juicing program and I remembered how beneficial juicing was. So I think I'm gonna start, no, not I think, I am gonna start doing juicing in the morning and maybe in the evening, she's gonna send me the recipe and how and when, how often I'm supposed to be doing this. But, uh, so this morning I only have so many ingredients, so I do have just a few. And I, I do know quite a bit about juicing. I did a lot of research on the benefits of juicing, um, what things to juice, which, which things you need more as far as nutrients. Uh, I used to, I did juice for a little bit with my mother-in-law. I looked into juicing and the benefits of the vegetables, some fruits and vegetables that she shouldn't or should eat. According to what was going on with her, my mother-in-law had multiple um, autoimmune diseases, main, mainly Sjogrim's and lupus, and they were really bad. She was really, really, well, I don't know anymore what her status is now, but she was really sick and she couldn't eat anything, everything made her nauseous. So I looked into it because I wanted to help her and did some research, followed some um, some people on YouTube that have autoimmune diseases that defeated and healed themselves. They didn't cure themselves, but they found a way to heal themselves through natural foods and um, herbs and things like that. So I was really intrigued to learn, not only for her, but it kind of was a way to teach myself more about the benefits. But starting with your eating and what you let into your body or onto your body matters a lot. So I did learn a lot trying to help her and the main thing was to juice um, because the main way to get nutrients in you fast is through juicing. Your body doesn't have to break it down, it doesn't have to do the work, you're drinking it, you're already breaking it down with this machine and it goes straight to where it needs, needs to be. Now there's a lot more into juicing but in this in particular situation I did a little bit more research on her autoimmune diseases and, and what veggies and fruits she needed to stay away from and which ones would benefit her. So um, I wanted to do it with her. I told her, if you do it, I'll do it with you. Because I don't want to really juice, especially if you're used to that good food, that soul food, especially in juicing is not always very tasty. You can make it kind of tasty, but it's, it's, a, it's a taste that you have to get used to. So um, that was really hard for her at first. And I tried a lot of the, most of the drinks I tried with her, I, I liked them. Some of them were bitter, they were like, mm, but they're bearable to me. Especially if it was gonna save my life, I would definitely be on board with that. And it would help you lose weight and get fit and feel way better. Um, so I was on board and I really wanted to do it with her. I didn't have autoimmune diseases, but I was really sluggish, I was stressed. And the toxins you take into your body, the food that you eat, the things you're exposed to, really do matter to your health and your mental health. So unfortunately, I, we were both weren't able to like afford to stay on the juicing and stay organic and with autoimmune diseases you really want to eat organic food and stay organic because there's so many pesticides and natural foods in our store-bought foods and um, toxins that you take in every day on a regular basis through your food that you eat it is poison so she had to eat organic it was a must and it was it was a trial and error type of thing but staying organic she really saw the benefits I don't know if she's still doing that kind of stuff it was it was not easy but I had to kind of let go of trying to help her. It is a, a lifestyle change that you really want to stick with and, and change. You have to want to do it. So um, I wish I could afford to do it because I would have done it myself because the, the benefits of it, just ha not even having autoimmune disease, is incredible. But we, on our budget, uh, with our family being there with her, we couldn't afford for everybody to be organic. It was extremely hard, so we can only afford to make sure that she had organic stuff in the fridge for herself because this, this method and juicing was literally going to save her life. Um, to stay organic and try to get the nutrients in her. Uh, the juices that we did do, and the main one was putting carrots, but carotene, there's mad carotene in carrots, so it would help with your skin and your hair. So apples, everybody needs fiber, but not everybody can remember to grab an apple and eat an apple. So apples are extremely good for you. Green apples are the best. Green apples are way better than red apples or other colored apples. So when I lived with my mother-in-law, we would put we tried ginger and turmeric with them both, but mainly turmeric was the main game with her because um, she was in a lot of pain all the time and her stomach was hurting. Not only that, but her, her bones, her legs, and everywhere was hurting. So turmeric helps with, um, with pain, but it, you have to stick with it. You really have to stick with it to see the benefits. You have to be on turmeric pills or turmeric and the juicing. 
um, on a daily basis. It takes like two weeks, sometimes a whole month for you to see the benefits, but it really does help with inflammation, helps with pain, and so many other benefits. So I don't have turmeric, I only have ginger. I'm gonna put some ginger in there. Ginger does some of a lot of the same things, but ginger and turmeric together, like a superpower, they work great. And um, the benefits of them are amazing. So that's what I'm gonna put in mine. Um, we, we used mainly turmeric with her juicing because putting them both together for her was like too much for her. Especially when she was just trying to get the feel of juicing and the taste of juicing, it was like kind of unbearable in the beginning. And it would uh, upset her stomach a little bit, so it was too strong. So we just did the turmeric, which turmeric was perfect for her. I'm still learning so much more to all this stuff, but I do remember that we would put the ginger, the carrots, the apples, and sometimes we would add an extra apple just to make it a little sweeter because sometimes it can be bitter. So I am going to use the organic aguala baby spinach. These are the only ingredients I actually had laying around, which is perfect because this is what I remember making for her um, until my homegirl Yesenia sends me the recipe so I can do what she's doing with her. Maybe it's similar. I'm not sure. But I do remember the benefits of doing this. Uh, the greens are going to give me some chlorophyll that I so badly need. I used to take chlorophyll in a liquid form that I used to get from, uh, I think my mom got it at Trader Joe's actually. She would send it to me because I was, I was so on a budget and I could hardly t afford to take care of myself, which is why I couldn't do the juicing with my mother-in-law. Um, that my mom, I was, you know, stressed out, was going crazy, and I was not taking care of myself. So my mom would send me chlorophyll in a bottle, and I, she was like, just try it. I've heard so many good things about it, and then I started reading up on it, and I was like, oh, okay, well, this is probably what I need. It's very, I got, found it in, she found it in a mint flavor, which was better than the regular kind. It's still really like, ugh, but it was bearable for me. I'm willing to try anything if it's going to help my health and my mental health, and, uh, get me to feel better and it did I drank the whole bottle not all at once but I did finish the bottle it was like one tablespoon or two tablespoons or something like that every day in the morning and the benefits of that was crazy good like I felt better I felt a little bit more clear-headed there was a lot of things stressing me out there's a lot of things going on that I couldn't avoid so and you know you it's something that you have to keep up with and I couldn't keep up with and I couldn't afford it so I'm gonna try this again and I was taking chlorophyll, but I, I can't really get to the store right now because everything that's going on. This is what I had. I'm going to finish this spinach and just do the juicing instead of buying the bottle until I can get to the store. Because I can Instacart some of these main ingredients that I need from Costco and uh, some other places. So I'm going to use what I have and start the juicing today. And instead of doing more workout videos, I'm going to start with this. And I'll keep you guys updated in the next week or two. And I'll show you guys a few clips on how I put this together and in the meantime I will be going back to my regular tea in the morning you don't want too much uh, tea on a regular basis I have never been the type of person that really likes sugar and it sounds really strange but I don't like sweet tea I like it plain I like the crisp fresh taste of unsweet tea so I normally there's so many benefits to mint so I always keep it in my little herb garden for the past three four years and I like to make sun tea with green tea um, and I, sometimes I put lemon in it, and sometimes I put cucumbers in it. But today, or yesterday, I just put the green tea and the mint leaves in there. And that's what I'm going to drink. And um, for now, while I do this juicing, I'll finish it up, and then I'll probably make a new tea. So I'm going to go ahead and put these ingredients together. I'll show you guys some clips. And we'll see if I remember how this tastes. And if I need to add or take something out. It wasn't super great, but it was bearable. I'm willing to try some things to get healthy. I found a juicer. Thank goodness my Tia Sara had one in the garage. Mm -hmm. Juicing is amazing. I was super happy that she had it. So I'm going to keep up with it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. So, but I got to clean it because it was in the garage and uh, this guy was in there. Can you see him? Can you see him? Can you see him? Yeah? Can you see that guy? A scorpion, a little tiny, teensy scorpion. Look at that. I guess scorpions are the thing out here in Arizona. This is their their spiders. For these are Arizona spiders. This is what they spray for the most out here. In North Carolina, we'll be having spiders a lot, snakes, and I just feel like there's just always critters, black grasshoppers. Arizona is infamous, I guess, for these little scorpions. And look, there's a dead one in here. So I had to clean this whole thing out because who knows if there's another dead scorpion in here somewhere. But that, I haven't seen one. I've never seen them. My mom and everybody keeps telling me about these scorpions. So 
Mm -mm. Now I know what they look like. They're freaking tiny. Anywho, let's clean it out. So at the same time, while we're trying to do this juice, we're going to try out this juicer by Breville. Breville. Looks kind of high tech. First thing first. The juicer. Ingredients. Today we have ginger. Two apples. Carrots. Organic. Alright, so it's even got this little thing on it. Oh. Hard veggies, apple, citrus. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna do all those. Hard veggies, well, we're really doing spinach, but apple, we're doing carrots, so I guess carrots would be hard veggies. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Trying out the Brevo that my Thea's got in here. So let's do this. I'm excited. There you have it guys, it came out not bad with the two apples, the one carrot, and uh, about a cup, I think it was about a cup, maybe a little bit more of spinach and aguela, and the one knuckle of ginger that I used in this. So, not bad. But to do this on a regular basis, I'm gonna need a lot more veggies and fruit. Fortunately, I don't think I could, still won't be able to just do all organic, but I think it'll still have some pretty good benefits. So. The juice pours out into this bottom piece right here. So you've got a little little lip that it goes into right here. Catching all the juice. And it has a little spewed little lip at the end so that you can pour it into your drink like I did. This thing's pretty amazing. I mean we had the ninja when we were using it before, which worked pretty good, but this one's cool. So then on the other side is where all of your leftovers go into this container here. And when we did it, I always thought like it was gonna go to waste. Like, oh, there's all this leftovers. What can I do with it? Like, I know the juices are out and stuff, but what can we do with it? And what I ended up doing was feeding it to my chickens when I was in North Carolina. I had all my animals, my country life. So my chickens, I had like seven chickens, and I would literally just pull, put it in the bag and take it out there for them and put it in put it in their bowl out there, and they would just eat it up and they loved it or if you have a garden and you have a compost you can throw it in your compost it's great for your compost but I used it when I was doing it with my mother-in-law I fed it to the chickens uh, the chickens loved it it was like a field day for them so they eat it up so that's what you can do with the leftovers guys if you think about what you're gonna do with it this is the reveal starting my juicing today tried this uh, juicing machine that my aunt had in the garage hidden away and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna keep it up. I'm gonna do it. I got two things of ginger. I got a whole bag of apples here. I got a thing of spinach. I just need to order some more spinach and see what else is in this recipe that my friend Yuzini is gonna send me as far as the weight loss and trying to get fit regimen goes. We'll see what she's got for me. And um, I'll keep you guys updated. And yeah, that's it. It tastes great. For today, for Get Fit Fridays, I'm gonna start juicing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow us on uh, me and Gabe on Instagram for more videos, for Get Fit Friday, Tim Your Main Monday for the hair videos, and Toddler Tuesday for videos with me doing things with my toddler. Anywho, thank you for watching guys, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!